Hello everyone and welcome to the Infinity channel. Mm, it's a relatively new channel for students of econometrics and wants to learn EDUs and particulars. This is my first video and I'm gonna start with somewhat advanced for those who don't have a lot of information about such analysis but still a very basic step in regression analysis or any other type of analysis that you're gonna do uh, using any economics or business related data. So, uh, a typical regression usually has uh, two variables or more. Uh, there would be a dependent variable which we'll call the Y and an independent variable that we'll call an X. Residual stands for your error term which uh, we assume to be zero after the analysis and then we have an intercept which is C. So, uh, what do we need to do before we run a regression? Uh, there are a few steps that we need to take care of to ensure reliability of our analysis. The first and foremost step that you might have heard of is stationarity. And I assume you understand what stationarity is and why is it important. You can do a research on it or leave a comment below so that I can explain it to you. Uh, Meanwhile, I also assume you understand how to import data into eViews, so I'm not going to do it here. Maybe in the future videos, I will show you guys how to do that. For now, we will just focus on how to test for stationarity and the eViews program. Uh, so I'm going to go with uh, series Y, which is our dependent variable. Now we just open it up and then we just check out the data. We see that it's all filled up or is there any missing data because that would be a trouble. So we have all the data up to 2016 from 1963. Uh, in order to check for stationarity, we go to view unit root test or we can go here. Uh, the same thing, unit root test. Uh, so let's just go from here so that we can directly test y for stationarity. We go for unit root test. So here are a few things that you need to uh, look up, uh, which test you're going to use, what, what the theory that you're using suggests. Uh, I usually go for augmented Dickey pillar, uh, which is very much similar to Philip Perron with very minor differences. Uh, so let's just go for this one first. We go for an augmented Dickey pillar test. We test that level and we test it with an intercept. We, uh, we, we just want to see if this series might have an intercept or not, or if it's stationary, if an intercept is included in our regression. So we press OK. So what does this mean? Our null hypothesis is mentioned here. It says that Y has a unit root. Um, now what does that mean? That means that if Y has a unit root, it means it's not stationary. It's, it's non stationary. Uh, on the other hand, if we reject the null hypothesis, we could say that our series is stationary. Uh, our t statics is mentioned here, but we don't need to refer to the table now because we have the probability value. And the probability value of above 5 or 10% in economics usually suggests that we do not reject the null hypothesis. Now that it says 52%, uh, or approximately, we can say that y has a unit root, which means it's not stationary. So what do we do to remedy, remedy stationarity issue? Uh, we go again to unit root test, and now we want to see if we include a trend into our series. Does it make it stationary or not at level? It means that we don't take a log, we don't take a difference, just the series itself has its level. So we choose this option, we press OK, and we see that it's even more non-stationary. It means that the issue with a linear trend and a constant included is not stationary series. We go to the unit to test again, and we can similarly test if none of them are included, then it's still not stationary. So that means that at level, without taking a log or a difference, our series is not stationary. Um, so we just go back to the basic uh, option, intercept. You can also go for choosing Philip Perron. It's almost the same idea. You just press OK. And it has null hypothesis exactly the same as the ADFT test, or augmented decapular test. And we interpret the probability value similarly. 
uh, we can similarly check for excuse me trend and intercept and we get the same results all right and if I'm going too fast you might need to pause between every step that I take so that you can read and kind of understand what's going on uh, so now we want to see if our first option to make it the series stationary will work or not usually in economics we prefer taking a difference uh, or a log either is uh, okay so now we want to see if we take uh, the difference of the series once uh, it is going to make it stationary or not if it does then we can convert our series to our first different series so we press ok and now we see a difference so it shows that uh, the null hypothesis is testing for our series y on first difference if it has a unit root or not the probability rejects the null hypothesis it means that um, our series d our difference of y is stationary and it does not have a unit root so we just want to confirm the same using our other tests for the multiplied operon and press ok and it confirms the same slightly different t statistics because they're different models they use different methods but we reach to, this sim to, to a similar conclusion so given that we have uh, shown that taking a first difference of uh, our series makes it stationary what are we going to do in eviews uh, a very simple command to help you uh, reform your series is generate we're going to generate a new series we can name it anything we want i'm going to name it difference of y since we took a difference of it it's easier for me to recognize is equal to d stands for taking a difference and inside the bracket i'm going to write y so that my series of y is difference once i press enter and there we go we have our new series now this series is supposed to be stationary because it's already differenced once and according to our stationarity test if it is differenced once it is supposed to be stationary so this time we're gonna just to make sure test it again this time at level because it's supposed to be stationary at level since it's differenced once already if we test it at first difference then practically we are differencing the y series twice and testing if it's stationary or not so at level as expected it is stationary and you can see the statistics are exactly the same it means that we have successfully transformed the series into what's suggested by the stationarity test so we go on and do the same for the x series we open it up we go for unit root test we test it at level first we can go for an augmented decoupler test press ok and as you can see it's not stationary again we can keep going and test for first difference and here we go we are rejecting the null again it means that our difference of x is a stationary series so what I'm going to do is just simply create a new variable again named difference of x and I'm going to take a difference of x and store it into it here we go with our variable our new variable let's test it for stationarity at level there we go stationary so now we can see that there are two new variables difference of x and difference of y and they're both stationary and we can use it for our regression now there's another way to make a non-stationary uh, series there are actually a few other ways to make it stationary uh, first that i taught here is differencing the second easy one is taking a, a log of the series so you can just simply take a log and see if it is stationary or not we're going to take a log of the original series of course so i'm gonna name it uh, generate log of y is equal to the function for this uh, formula is log of y press enter now we have our new variable which means that this variable stores the logged value of y series we, we open that and we see if it worked to stationarize 
our series now remember that this series is not the friends it's merely locked so it's much much different from what we got from difference wire different ways so again we're going to test the level press ok and still not stationary probably after first difference this would be stationary yep but uh, now unless we need to have a logged variable i don't suggest us take a first difference since it still suggests that this logged variable to be difference uh, but i don't suggest using log and difference uh, to stationarize the same series if only one suffices uh, so just go for what the theory suggests and try to uh, stationarize your series with least steps possible uh, some series are uh, stationarizable if you if you would say so using a log uh, but if they are not then you, you can just go for a different thing and in next classes i will show you guys how to stationarize a series even if taking a difference is not uh, sufficient and we're going to also look into uh, breakpoint unit te root test which will show us if there is any structural break in the series which causes the unstationarity issue but if we take care of that structural break we will have a stationary series without taking a difference or a log or putting any other filters upon the series and that's all for today i hope you enjoyed this lesson and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and see you in the next class